This is the TerraMaster D2310, a two-bay DAS RAID storage. Please take the product out from the box packaging before starting. Items in the box include one set of the product, one power cord, one USB cable, a few screws, and one quick guide booklet. You could install 2.5-inch SATA hard drive, 3.5-inch SATA hard drive, or 2.5-inch SSD into the product. Please pull out the hard drive tray from the product before the installation of the hard drive. Use screws to fasten the hard drive to the tray. Insert the hard drive tray into the product along the track. Push the lower part of the hard drive tray to fully insert it. Lock the tray by pressing the handle after completing insertion of it. Install the remaining hard drives you wish to include using the above steps. Connect one end of the USB cable to the product and the other end to the computer. Connect the power adapter to the product. Press the power button on the faceplate to power on the product. Now, the hardware installation is complete. The product might not be able to detect the newly installed hard drives that had been used on other devices before. If this happens, please initialize and format the hard drives on your computer and try again. Please keep the product powered on. Rotate the pointer on the rear cover of the product with the screwdriver to the desired RAID type. Use a thimble to press and hold the reset button for 5 seconds to let the newly set RAID take effect. The factory default RAID type is single. Each change of RAID type requires holding the reset button for 5 seconds to let the newly set RAID take effect. Warning! Creating or changing RAID may lead to formatting of hard drives and consequently, all the data in the hard drives will be deleted. After the RAID is created, please initialize it on your computer. If using a Windows operating system, please search for Computer Management to initialize the RAID. Click on Storage, then click on Disk Management. Please find the unallocated disk on the menu, which is the TerraMaster RAID that has not been initialized. Use the right mouse button to click on the disk, and click on Initialize Disk on the drop-down menu that appears. Please complete the settings on the Initialize Disk menu and click on OK to start the initialization. Please note, when choosing the partition style, choose the GPT partition style. Otherwise, the maximum capacity of the partition is only 2 terabytes. After initialization, please use the right mouse button to click on the unallocated disk and then click New Simple Volume on drop-down menu that appears to establish the volume for the RAID. The initialization of the RAID is complete after establishing the volume. If you want to initialize the RAID on a computer with Mac operating system, please search for Disk Utility on Desktop. Look for a new disk in the External menu. This disk is the TerraMaster RAID that has not been initialized. Please select the disk and click on Erase. Please complete the setting and click on Erase. The initialization of RAID is fully complete after erasing. Now, the TerraMaster D2310 is ready at your service.